we have learned meiosis is a very important process to produce gamete, where it eventually produces the gamete that contain only half the number of chromosome or we call it as the haploid cell. But how meiosis eventually produce genetic variations? All thanks to where we have the crossing over that happened in Profess 1. There is an exchange of the genetic materials between two non-sister chromatid. As we can see here, one chromosome is belongs to the father and one belongs to the mother. Whenever crossing over happens, the genetic material is exchanged between both father and mother. So the recombinant is eventually causes we have the genetic variations. But not only that, if you still remember in metaphase 1, we say the homologous chromosome are eventually aligned randomly along the metaphase plate or the equatorial plane. So it means not necessarily that the father chromosome must be one line on the left or the mother chromosome must be one line on the right, it will always in random orientation. This can be one from the father, one from the mother, and one from the father again. If we have 23 pair of chromosome, we eventually have that much of the possible arrangement. This is the bright side of the meiosis where each of us looks differently from each other. But then, what are the effects of abnormal meiosis whenever they produce the gamete has incorrect number of chromosomes? So for example, the father and the mother, where they decide to have baby, they need to produce sperm and ovum cell through meiosis. So eventually meiosis will halve the number of chromosomes so that the sperm and the ovum cell are eventually haploid cells which contain only 23 chromosomes. This is to ensure that later on, when they fuse together to form the zygote, the zygote will have the 46 chromosome. This is how meiosis maintain the diploid number of chromosomes in next generations. But sometimes, the thing does not go as planned. For example, this ovum cell here has 24 chromosomes. This is what we consider as the abnormal meiosis, where the gamete contains one extra chromosome to become 24, or sometimes they only contain 22 chromosomes, which is one less as compared to whatever is supposed to be. So there is an error happened here. So whenever they undergo fertilizations, where they fuse together to form the zygote, the zygote will eventually have 47 chromosomes, which by right, human supposed to have only 46 chromosomes. So this is the error. So why this happened is due to something abnormal happened in our spindle fiber at anaphase 1 or anaphase 2. As you still remember, in metaphase 1 and metaphase 2, the homologous chromosome or the chromosome will line up randomly along the metaphase plate. And if we follow by anaphase 1 and anaphase 2, where the spindle fiber will contract and pull the chromosome to the opposite poles. But sometimes, those spindle fibers just fail to function or not appear at all. This causes that one side get nothing and another side would get one extra chromosome. So this is why whenever they split later on, left hand side will have one extra chromosome and right hand side will have one less chromosome. So this is all due to the spindle fiber is fell to form. As a result, our gamete will have either 22 chromosome or 24 chromosome, as opposed to be the 23 chromosome which is supposed to be. This situation is what we call as a non-disjunctions, 
where the chromosome fell to separate correctly. This will eventually cause us a disease called Down syndrome or is known as trisomy 21. This happens when we have one extra chromosome in the 21st set of chromosomes. Some of the symptoms in this syndrome is they has a lower IQ, which is basically known as mental retardations. They have the physical characteristic like slanted eyes, protruding tongues, means the tongue rather sticking out, and they have a very broad forehead. Hey, if you want to join my online tuition class, please drop me a message on telegrams. Or if you want to support us so that we can make more videos like this, the simplest way is just to sharing the video with your friends hit the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.